was a demonstration against the Vietnam War at Century City, and the police just absolutely overreacted. And this one guy in the council, Ed Edelman, stood up and said, no, this is wrong. We've got to hold hearings. We've got to address this. We've got to ventilate this publicly. And I remember watching it, thinking, wow, who was that masked man? If they made politicians take classes in how to conduct themselves, there might be the Ed Edelman 101 class. He was a, a rare, thoughtful, wise individual. Adjectives not usually applied to people in political office. <laughs> there are hundreds of thousands of people in this state whose lives are better because of someone whose name they never knew. I remember the Depression, knowing that, that the government was the only means to pull society together. The government was looked upon as something to help people. The tradition of Franklin Roosevelt, the administrations of President John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson inspired so many of us. And I've always seen that element as someone who embodied the continuation of that tradition for the vulnerable, for children, in the area of mental health, what he's done in his career for the homeless. Well, he was a bleeding heart, and uh, so be it. That's just a given as far as Ed and his makeup. Fortunately, I had more votes than he did for a while. For a while. If one of my students were to say to me, show me or connect me with somebody who, in your judgment, has the qualities you most admire in a public servant, the person I'd send him to would be Ed. The worst thing you can have is power and either abuse it or not use it. I liked taking on issues that needed to be taken on without regard to the political consequences. He had this very powerful position, but he absolutely believed in the little guy. That was, that was his passion. It was early 1964, a time when everything seemed possible to young idealists. Ed Edelman had served three years as a young lawyer on Capitol Hill. He was inspired by the spirit of the Kennedy administration and emboldened to find a place for himself in politics. He saw an opportunity on the Los Angeles City Council. An incumbent, Roz Wyman, who had served 12 years in the 5th District West Side seat, was being challenged on the basis of her pro-development stance and wrangling with Mayor Sam Yorty. Five candidates had entered the race against her. Ed would join the group. Almost no one except Ed himself believed that as a political unknown, he could make his way past the primary, let alone win the general election. We were in Washington, D.C. I asked Ed what he was gonna do and he said, well, I, you know, I'm gonna run for the city council. He reached in his pocket and he pulled out a speech and he started to talk. He said, the first thing we need is civic pride. This was his opening speech. And I thought, the, the guy's crazy. You know, he can't go back there and be, uh, just run against somebody with a speech like that. Here was this new gentleman, Ed Edelman. He was gonna run against this incumbent, very entrenched, Roz Wyman. Wyman had the backing of most Democratic loyalists, including Governor Pat Brown. Ed's candidacy would get a powerful boost from the endorsement of the popular speaker of the California State Assembly, Jess Unruh, who was politically aligned with President John F. Kennedy. Ed was also the favorite of grassroots organizations, Democratic clubs, and young people. There's an amount of optimism excitement about America and the American promise and the opening up of civil liberties and civil rights. So Ed's appeal to young people is real and palpable, and it's not accidental that he comes out of the Kennedy administration, which had done such remarkable things to empower and excite the young people of America. We were all overjoyed that here's somebody, going to be a politician to represent the community that was willing to investigate and explore issues like land use and city planning. It was a fine campaign, it involved a lot of young people. 
including students from the high schools, Hamilton High, other places, or people still talk about being involved in Ed Edelman's campaign. It was a very open headquarters. It was a very welcoming headquarters. Ed would be out walking precincts. People would be coming in, wanting to sit down and talk to him. And the next thing you know, I heard Ed Edelman had won. He won a city council seat. I couldn't believe it. Ed would defeat the incumbent in the general election by a three-to-one margin, but his victory came with tragedy. 